This is arguably the best weapon in the entire game of Grounded, and it's called the Pinch Whacker. And not only is it a Tier 3 one-handed club weapon capable of producing an electrical area of effect attack, but you can also unlock it relatively early in a new playthrough, which will give you the power to pulverize just about any creature you might encounter in the lower yard. In order to obtain this powerfully potent and punishing weapon, all you need is a bomb and some building supplies. Once you have those, you can come right here on the map to the milk carton where there is a hidden lab stuck between a crack in the stone wall that separates the lower yard from the upper yard's Moldork region. Game preview players might remember this as the Berry Monster Lab, but now after you use a ramp to get up there and a bomb to blast your way inside, you'll discover the lab is completely destroyed and in almost total darkness. Checking inside of a red-colored trash can will reward you with the Pinch Whacker. And once you have it, you'll be able to plow through the early enemies of the game with relative ease. So if you enjoy that, then destroy the like button with a tactically timed free hit combo, because if you're a fan of grounded themed, grounded related content presented in tutorial format, then you've come to the right channel because that's basically all that I do here, and I hope that this video earns your subscription today. What up? It's Tiny Pirate Gaming here with a new tutorial video going over exactly what you need to do if you want to unlock the Pinch Whacker fast and easy. The first thing you'll need to do if you want to grab this weapon right at the start of a fresh save is to get a gas mask so that you can make your way into the Haze region and grab some of the necessary materials to craft the Brat Burst Bombs, more specifically Fungal Growth. Gas masks are relatively easy to craft, only costing one weevil nose, four gnat fuzzes, two crude ropeses, and one stink bug part. Getting a stink bug part early in the game is the only real obstacle between you and your first gas mask because stinkies are nearly impossible to combat without already first having a gas mask. Fortunately, you can also find stink bug parts from spider web sacks, which is how I suggest you nab yourself your first stink bug part to avoid frustration. Once you have a gas mask, you'll be able to make your way into the haze region. But you're not in there to combat the creatures because they're too strong, and you're not in there to chop down fungal growth because that takes a tier 2 axe. In fact, I suggest using aphid slippers and natural explorer when you do this to avoid any unnecessary confrontations. What you're looking for in here are infected weevils, which you can get to launch kamikaze attacks against you by getting close to them. Just make sure you run away before they explode. After they explode, you'll be able to easily harvest some fungal growth, and there's enough infected weevils in this area for you to claim enough of it to craft at least one bomb. You'll only need two fungal growth to craft a single brat burst, so once you have it, you can make your way back to the first field station. I also recommend building a workbench at this field station in particular because it's located close to the red anthill, and you'll need it to actually craft the bombs once you have the proper resources. You're also going to need dry grass chunks. You can get these easy enough by simply chopping down some dry grass, which is found in abundance around the red anthill and the first field station. For this next part, you might want to wear a full set of red ant armor to more easily make your way down into the red anthill by taking advantage of the human perk, which prevents soldier ants from being aggressive towards you. The red anthill is located due west of the first field station, and you'll need to go down inside of it to retrieve at least one red ant egg. There's two chambers down inside of the tunnels where the red ant eggs will spawn, and you can find them both by simply hugging the right-hand wall as you make your way down. You also might want to bring a torch to light your way, and be aware that upon retrieving an ant egg, the ants will become hostile against you, even if you're wearing ant armor. You can also force more eggs to spawn by defeating a bunch of ants, which will cause the worker ants inside of the hill to move eggs into the hill's first chamber, and the more ants you annihilate, the more eggs they are likely to spawn. However, keep in mind that the red ant eggs will hatch even while in your inventory, which is why you need to craft them into brat burst bombs quickly. Thankfully, you've got a crafting workbench located right nearby at the first field station, and if you've been following this guide, you should already have the other necessary materials to craft the Brat Burst Bombs. Just a helpful tip, but I usually like to craft a storage box or a basket alongside my workbench at the first field station to store dry grass and fungal growth for future Brat Burst production. Anyway, once you have the red ant egg, you'll be able to craft the brat burst bomb at a workbench using two fungal growth, one red ant egg, and four dry grass chunks. 
Now that you've got a bomb, you'll next want to travel to the southeast side of the pond where you can find a milk carton alongside a stone wall that separates the lower and upper yards. There's some orb weaver spiders and bombardier beetles in this area that you might want to clear out because you're likely going to need to build a ramp or some stairs to reach the hidden lab door that's concealed within the wall. It doesn't matter what you use to reach the door, all that matters is that you get to it and then use a bomb to blast it open. Once inside, you can make your way down into the dark lab where you'll find the pinch whacker sticking out of the top of a red ominent trash can. There's also a treasure chest with upgrade materials inside that you can loot here, and the rotten berry charm can be found in the collapsed tunnel opposite the room from the trash can where the pinch whacker was located. The rotten berry charm boosts the effectiveness of rotten gear, so if you plan to use that, then I suggest you grab and equip this accessory. And that's it. Now the pinch whacker is yours, and with it, you'll be able to easily conquer almost any threat found in the lower yard. The biggest drawback to this weapon is that you'll need repair glue to repair it, and you won't unlock the recipe for the glue masher until clearing the Black Ant Lab. Fortunately, by using a smithing station, you'll be able to upgrade it whenever it needs to be repaired to keep it operational until you unlock the recipe for the glue masher. It's also worth noting that this weapon cannot be crafted, which means there's only one available per playthrough, so make sure you don't lose it or let a visiting friend hold on to it when they leave your world, or it could be lost forever. The Pinch Whacker is an excellent weapon that will serve you well throughout the entirety of your playthrough, and hopefully this tutorial video helped you unlock it fast and easy. And if you're a fan of Grounded-themed, Grounded-related content presented in tutorial format, then you found the right channel, because that's basically all that I do here, and if that interests you, then destroy the like button with the tactically timed 3-hit combo, and I hope that this video earned your subscription today. You can also follow me on Twitch for live streams, Twitter for channel news, and join the Tiny Pirate Gaming Discord for discussions on Grounded gaming content creation and more, along with me and the rest of the hashtag Tiny Crew. So whether I see you here in the comments, over on the Twitch sphere, or someplace else across the streamiverse, just know that I appreciate all of your support and thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Alright matey, watch your step. There be a tiny pirate here. See you, chump. Wait, 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 wait. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Because if you're a fan of grounded themed, grounded related content presented in a random YouTube video format, then you found the right channel because that's basically all that I do here. So if that interests you, then defeat the like button with a powerful thrust kick and then a three hit combo. And then after it's down, you know, just, just kick it again. And I hope that this video earned your subscription today. And thank you again so much for watching. Until next time. Arg matey, watch your step. There be a tiny pirate here.